Why did we respond to this? Yeah. Oh, style points. Previously on LA Noir. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. 40-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. Hello, everybody. I am freaking adorable just like this. Uh, I think it was a puppy last time. Let me go with the kid. Another body. Tap. And dear Jamal's ring. Sales, fair and love and war. The emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. Exactly. Did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass, Phelps? Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? You can't go out that door. Got a steak That's embarrassing. Second later tonight. All right, over to the bone shop. Hmm? You've got to admit, this is looking odd. Anyone could pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators... Cole, Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's groundkeeper. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sakes. And he always maintained he was set up. How much you want to bet? It was a fake name given. How right. can I help you, boys? Pawnee Poo, where are you? Come here, come here. Where are, you? Where are we talking to? Where are we talking Detectives to? Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I going to get something for this pledge? I gave that bum money. Now you guys are going to leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks. Try another number. 20? Try 10. You feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Come on. Come on. Pick it up, Phelps. What's this mark here? Maker's Fancy mark. H? Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks Neat. for the tip. And the other one? Same thing? Oh, 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 almost had it. Does this mark mean anything? 22 karat gold, you dumbass. Gives you an idea of the quality. God, Phelps, I thought you were a detective. You don't know carrots of gold? Jesus. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build. Jeez. Dark hair, I think. Wow. I'm sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. Hmm. Oh, so much for that. All right, cool. And out we go. We have a problem. We could have the local troopers check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. The purpose having fun with us. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that one? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. If the Dahlia letters are genuine, then the man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Muller. And how do we prove that, Phelps? Skipper ain't gonna like this one bit. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity. Hmm. May not happen anytime soon, though. That's a problem. I really feel like if the Black Dolly is the main thing, then you boys we shouldn't ready? be Follow me. murder detectives yet. 
We should keep this development with the rings under our hat until we speak with the captain. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of command, Phelps. The skipper will decide who needs to know. You got it? I get it, Rusty. I just don't like it. Uh, that doesn't look good. Hard, isn't it? Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. That's Jameson my Jameson found the body? Something I, like I that. I found the body. Guy makes me sick. I found the oh, Talk to the I'm coroner. Sorry. Keep an eye on both of them. I'm just being myself. Do you not like me, officer? Hey, can you give me a hand? I got a hard case I need to break. Yeah, well, g give me a second. All right, I got some stuff to do. Jeez. Good morning, ladies. What's in the purse, Phelps? Open the purse. Hmm. Someone was trying to get her to come home. Doop do doop do boop boo. Is this pink thing anything? Hmm. We could go over to the lot and see what they know about her. Okay. That's gonna be difficult, Cole. Why? Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. Oh, that's a shame. Do, 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 do. What do we got here? Shopping list? Yeah. This is a chit for personal items, not booze. It's an angle worth investigating. All right. Do, do, do. And the matchbox. And the match. And the matchbox. There you go, Phelps. Good job. What are you doing? Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. Hey, maybe. What are you thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. We're just running to catch up. You did it. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age, lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. Hmm. Yeah, let's check it out. Nothing. The smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell, but it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very <sighs> strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Yeah, probably. Ah, there we go. Another missing ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Fair enough. Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. That's it? All right. Is there another guy to talk to? Oh, this guy? Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind... I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Oh, no, I guarantee I, I will be. I was kissing her. Yep. There we go. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law against it. Like Necrophilia? Mm. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Classic Carmine. Hmm. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. <laughs> Don't hit him. <laughs> Let me do it. Bam. <laughs> you uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. It's Did the you take hands on the hips. <laughs> wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick in her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. You found the body? 
Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Oh, you don't have your hands on your hips like a heroic pose? Like, yeah, I did that. Yeah, you look shifty, little bastard. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I could tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. <laughs> You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... <laughs> yeah, it's a Clyde, good place to stop. get this sack of shit into a cell. I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. God, I miss the old days. All right. I think that's just about it for this place. <laughs> Uh, I'll check the details though. Ah, uh, yeah, I got everything there. So I just need to look up an address using this phone here. On that bar. I love how there's just a telephone for the police everywhere. The closest door would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thank you. I went to the liquor store. Your favorite place, buddy. Stop off for some to afternoon tea. Read that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them. Yeah, yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists? Really? I guess that's okay then. Armies can't fight without food. You spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. They did. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? <laughs> what can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins? Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. Why would she keep... Oh, that's right. She was a vagrant. Yeah, right. Got it. Do, 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 do. Oh, nothing there. All right. You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. You know, you let us take some for the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. Yeah, no, we're not doing it. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She kept a bed here, but I probably shouldn't have let her. An alcoholic in a liquor store, that was never going to work out, was it? Yeah, probably not. We'll take a look around. No? Oh, there we go. There yeah, we go there. She wasn't always such a loner. Well, yeah, she had a husband. I'm sure she had some friends. Evelyn was reading Aristotle? Hmm. Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. Gotcha. Over <laughs> here. Uh -huh. I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. Okay, guess I just let her take that with her. Rawlings Bowling Alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Ooh, spare time. Rawlings. I see what you did there. I know that place. Corner of 9th and Grand. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. Hmm. When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music. Nope. No, don't ding 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 here. I already got this stuff. Don't you dare ding 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 here. All right, what are you ding ding dinging? Crying out loud. Is it this again? Oh, I already tried to investigate. And she it was borrowing me. books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. Hey, how are you? We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things. She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Some friend you are. You're feeding her the alcohol. Way to be an enabler, jackass. Any idea where the money came from? 
She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Yeah, right. Were you and Devil in close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. We got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her staying here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. And to be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. Do you know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. No. Oh. Different expression. We're struggling for leads, Robbins. Did she know McCaffrey? She idolized him. From what I gather, the feeling was far from mutual. He seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills of society. You could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. No problem. Hey. I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? I'll get Evelyn a never guy. Hurt anybody. I'll definitely get somebody to pin the murder on. Uh, I guarantee you that. The guy? Probably not. 11.35 and it's open. I could see if it was like a bar and grill and they were serving lunch or something. But. Drink, fellas. Phelps, Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mensch. Evelyn Summers, what is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Uh, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. Okay. What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. She, okay. Can you yell a little more, Phelps? I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. At least I'm not a pretentious prick. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. Do you want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes. Strikes. Workers' rights. That kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. <laughs> you say you barely knew Evelyn? Yes, that is correct. Mm. Nope. You're lying, McCaffrey. You looked down your nose at Evelyn, but you knew her, and you have some idea of what happened. I hope you're holding aces. I'm telling you again, I barely knew the woman. Aces and eights, buddy. Aces and eights. Why would you lend her your book on metaphysics if you only knew her in passing? It was more than that. A renaissance man like yourself lending his books to his acolytes. She hounded me about that goddamn book. And then she lifts it from my apartment and lies to my face that she didn't take it. As if she could even comprehend any of it. Okay. I saw her go into a hotel with Tiernan last night. They had booze in a paper bag. He's your man. Who's Tiernan? Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. All right. You know anything about Tiernan, buddy? You're free to speak to the nope. regulars. Just don't shake them too hard. By regulars, do you mean the one guy in here? Oh, uh, hold on. I see somebody over here. 
Hey, how you doing? You a friend of Evelyn Summers? Who's asking? Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my rights. You don't have any. Answer the question. <laughs> Evelyn mooches for drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? Keep writing me, copper. Oh, I will. Don't you worry, baby. All right. Next. I would have had my partner drive everywhere. Thank you, guys. Car 11 K. Car 11 King. KGPL. 11 King. A message from Captain Donnelly. Return to Central. Go to. 11 King. En route. Yeah. Let's not keep the man waiting, Phelps. Oh, I'm sorry. That's that's a storefront. Easy. Nah, we're fine. You're, you're fine. You're fine. Any central unit, 459 suspects to be taken into custody at the trolley station on Lucas Avenue. Stand by for further. Oh, something's happening. Take the next left. I did. See what happens when I listen to you? That was not the next left. Not the appropriate next left, anyway. Why did we respond to this? Yeah. Oh, style points. Oh, Any okay. units, four, five, nine suspects to be taken into custody at the trolley station on Lucas Avenue. Stand by for further. This is car 11 King. Go ahead with the further. 11 King, two, four, five, nine suspects sighted in the... You should have iced those folks. You leave no witnesses, you stay out of the park. Not riding all the way to Santa Ana and then on to Cincinnati with you pissing in my but ear. But I'm tired of always being on the lam. I don't have a choice. A stick-up charge is still a stick-up charge, and I ain't going back inside. You're both coming with me. Don't do anything stupid. Come on, you bet he does something stupid. Ah, there it is. Nice. Oh, he's getting away. I should probably drive. That's a person. That's a person. Is this real? Nope. That is fake, man. I'm walking here. Oh, nice. I caught up with him. Look at that. Looks like I know what I'm doing. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. His tires are exposed. It should be easy to hit him. Hey, clean this asshole off the road. Yeah, I'm trying. They're kind of shooting at us, too. Whoa, that was not physically possible for that car to do that, but okay. Come on. I'm glad they're slowing down so I can catch up to try and shoot them again. Really? Can we get some patrol cars out here to help us? Hit him, Cole! Spit him out! Get kill someone! Well, that pole wouldn't have just gone down like that, but I'll take it. Woo! Nice. You want to... Wanna, Put your you hands in the air! Like you just don't care. Ah, oh, yeah. Car 11K calling KGPL. Code 4 at the Lucas Avenue trolley station. The 459 suspects are in custody. Roger, 11K. All units, code 4 on the 459 suspects at the Lucas Avenue trolley station. Yeah, also, we broke a lot of shit. Yeah, hey, Central. Okay, good. Good stuff. You think those vice boys get any All right, Captain out? Crunch, what do you got for us? Rusty, where the are you going? Captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. Okay. Do I care about this Crothers character? That's a I mean, guy probably paper. not. It's not that big case. Guess I can run this time. All right, All what right. do we got? What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers. Cartel Classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick. But she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know, Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said, Cunt BD. Hmm. 
Mm. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, Phelps. You're married, so yours is mortgaged. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case. But it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And to follow up on Evelyn Summers, I want daily reports. I mean, I'm already not monetized, so I, don't, I guess it doesn't matter. We got hmm. our orders. Back to the Summers case. Get an address for McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. All right. Sure. No problem. I'm just praying the prints come through so I can... I can just the use a telephone right in here. Can I just ask somebody at the front desk? Yeah, that's whatever. Grover McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thanks. Let me pose a question. Pens. What you got to do with? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slammer ever found out. I haven't been bowling in forever. Hello, Rusty. Two on your usual lane? I'm Detective Feltz. Homicide. Why are you, you yelling? Must be new. <laughs> What's your shoe size? We're conducting an investigation, ma'am. Why are you? Do you yelling? know the name Evelyn Summers? Sounds like I should. Oh, maybe it could be Jimmy's friend. Jimmy? James Tiernan. He's a pin setter. One day he introduced me to a lady after work. It stuck in my mind. Because she was much older, too old for him. Where can we find Jimmy Florence? He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. Thanks, ma'am. Phelps. Let's go get him. Seriously, is it your your default? Uh, Bring it up, boy. Is that him? Is that him that just ran out the door? And Phelps, is it your default to yell? Tiernan, LAPD. Here we go. Oh. No foot chase, just car chase. There. Yeah, just take somebody else's car that happens to be right here, right? With the keys in. Because it's 1940. What are you waiting for? Get after him. Um, we might go shut faster your hole. if we weren't carrying the extra weight. These are so, flashy cars to be parked outside a bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast-living individual with money to burn. Or a middle-aged individual with the need to feel virile. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires! Another runner. Or at least we've got a suspect. Why do they always run? I'm sure we've got the wrong person in more than one of these homicides, but they always seem to lamb it. You know, your theories are not airtight by any means. Hit him! Clean this asshole off the road! If this isn't the killer, we can at least get him for reckless endangerment. That's unless he runs into a wall and saves us all the trouble. No, like that. <laughs> no, you gotta get me closer! No, I don't. What the hell? Okay, I thought him smashing into that would have put an end to it. Jeez, would you please stop? Hit him, Cole! Spit him out! Oh, looks like we're going into the tunnels. God damn it, he'll kill himself. It's all right, as long as he doesn't kill us, I'm okay uh, with it. <laughs> the trains wouldn't oh stop us. God, first. this kid's crazy! He's gonna kill us! Didn't I just say that? Did I not just say that? Oh no, I said he's gonna kill himself. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Yeah, I know you will. That is the end of that. About fucking time. Woo. Jeez, dude. You need to knock Show it off. me your hands. Yeah, let's leave that black car parked right in the tunnel. That nothing will happen there.
I didn't do it. Why'd you run? I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that was fun. Since we had this car, I say we keep using this car. You're behind the wheel. Doesn't have to be such a slow walk up to the front door, does it? McCaffrey, number six. McCaffrey is in apartment six. Thank you. Back up. Thank you. Let's go. McCaffrey. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Hello. Oh. Okay. Bloody shirt and tire iron. That's not great for him. He said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. And we have the book. Let's see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. No, oh, he'll try. I, I... Is that you, Grosvenor? Wasn't done. Who are you guys? Wasn't done what looking around. Here? From the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Great. And please don't let me leave. Command Thank you. of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. Surely we can ride him up for that. A citation, at least. Yeah, probably. Oh, here we go. Torn from the letter we found beside the body. At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. Yeah, you know, and the bloody thing he used to beat her over the head with. All right, now we're done. Do, 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 do. Grosvenor McCaffrey! <laughs> Running on a hangover, McCaffrey? Sit Can down and we'll talk. I'll go get our wheels. <sighs> Do 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 yep. ah. There you go. There he is. Come on. Phelps, you have to go upstairs slower than I do. Oh, you're taking forever, dude. You a runner, McCaffrey? Stay and fight the good fight. Apparently you're not. Jeez. Come on, there I'm nowhere go, near go. this dude. Phelps, just a little faster, but I mean sprint for a second. Taking a leisurely jog here. Oh, come on. I don't care about the scenery. I guess my partner's going to hit you with a car, so it doesn't really matter. Give oh, it up. Dackle, 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 dackle. Yeah. Uh, McCaffrey, you're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers. Mm-hmm. Need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. It's got to be McCaffrey. You sure? Unless the Terranin set him up. Mm, you don't think possible. that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? No, he's just uh, sicko. Thinks it wasn't that Dahlia fuck. How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the Dahlia? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together at a later date. I'll hold you to that. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. You sure you can make it stick with one of these suspects, gentlemen? It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. <laughs> Tiernan isn't one, McCaffrey isn't two. I want a confession from one of them. Okay. Don't fail me, young Phelps. Did you know yeah, I only got two more cases with this guy. Case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Well, duh. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? 
I, I barely knew Evelyn. No, you just... <sighs> okay. Keep lying to me and I'll have you charged and in front of a grand jury before your feet touch the ground. How can you possibly prove Evelyn and I were more than friends? Well, even friendship implies more than just you barely knew her. Jeez. Oh, where is it? Uh, yeah, this one. McCaffrey gave you up, Tiernan. He says he saw you go into your hotel with Evelyn. I met Evelyn at the public library. We would read for a while and then go for a drink. Last night, we went back to my hotel room and had some more to drink. I, I must have passed out. I woke up and she was gone. What time was this? Around midnight, maybe later. And there's no one who can confirm this? No, there isn't. I knew you wouldn't believe me. Yeah, hey, you're right. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it? She wanted something of his. We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. Well, McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. I mean, he always makes out it was some kind of labor dispute. But, you know, I'm not so sure. Hmm. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night, and she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. You're lying, Tiernan. You'd been fighting with her. You fought, and... I'm not lying! She got up and left! That was it! She left, but she came back. She bought you a quart of whiskey to make it up to you. She told the liquor store owner, You're in deep trouble, buddy. She said she loved me. She wanted to care for me. She would never stop talking about McCaffrey. McCaffrey was a writer, and McCaffrey was a hero. McCaffrey cared for the little guy. Did you kill her, Tiernan? I might as well have. I kicked her out. She had nowhere to go. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? Well, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. The Coroner's report says that Evelyn was killed with a wrench. I think you did it and then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. We went to his apartment. McCaffrey was up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. He can be very cruel. Hmm. I gotta talk to the other guy. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was, it was made from an old typewriter key, a present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? No. People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. So here's the thing. You think you're an intelligent individual. Really, you're just a pompous Everyone asshole. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. Mm-hmm. You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? How about half of Augusta Summer's last correspondence with her daughter? What are you talking about? After you were done beating Evelyn, you searched her and found her mother's letter. That old lady's anguish amused you. I know nothing about a letter or Evelyn's goddamn mother. So what was it doing on your writing desk? I don't know, but if I didn't put it there, somebody else did. Try exercising your powers of deduction on that. Okay. 
We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment, and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? Well, of course not, but yes. I don't believe you, Grosvenor. The evidence says that you killed her. You can prove that I wanted to kill Evelyn? Tiernan is prepared to testify that you threatened Evelyn's life in his presence. Self-preservation. That's understandable. Okay, I'll level with you. Tiernan killed Evelyn. He came to me for help. I listened to him, and he explained why he did it. Tiernan went to you for help. You expect me to buy that? That's how it went down. I told him he made a terrible mistake, but he would be throwing his life away if he went to the cops. I took his things and told him I would dispose of them. But you didn't. Speak to Tiernan. He'll give it up. Yeah, maybe. Parker, I'll be right back. You got a telephone I can use? There we go. Operator, give me dispatch. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Says he almost beat the woman to death. Thank you. I want to stop him with one more. You spoken to McCaffrey? I can go. It's all been cleared up. Not quite. We have one more question we need to ask, James. Then I think we will be done. Sure. Go ahead. So Evelyn passed out, and you walked out. What happened next? I woke up in the morning. Mary hung over. I thought Evelyn would have come back. A lot of quick eye movement there, buddy. I know you're lying, James. <clears throat> you went out looking for her. Tell me what really happened. I don't know what you're talking about. How, how can you say I wasn't in that hotel room? You wound up at McCaffrey's. You were still incredibly drunk. You passed out on his floor. It's time to tell me what really happened. McCaffrey woke me up the next morning. And he showed me the lug wrench and the letter and the box. And he said I came in with him last night. He said that I killed Evelyn. And that it was all over the radio. And that he would protect me. And I don't know, Detective, for the life of me, I can't remember a goddamn thing. And I was angry with her. Really angry. I could have done it. It wasn't me. I don't know. Let me go question the other guy one more time. Wait here. Do 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 and time warp. Then we're back. Stripped off me at the grand jury. Case was thrown out. Now the DA. You were in the war. Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw. It changes a man. Into a. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? Um, but you definitely were. You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? Oh, like this. Yep, there it is. Still happens. We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! Tried to steal from my wallet! I could have... 
fought for this country. I could have. You beat her because she stole from you, because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her! Sounds like, uh... Sounds like you did it. Grovener McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot. Grand. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse. And neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot at a prison graveyard. I love his poetic speaking. <laughs> yeah, da da. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. No injuries, though. Yes. We have lost most of Shaughnessy and Dunn's squad. His gunny is dead, first platoon is in worse shape. That medic is either crazy or the bravest man alive. Now we rally with the first, the try for the Naboos. It's sheer to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Naboos and infillate. Mate, we can I lose everyone. The lieutenant. Get back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. I'm in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? I company 22nd Marines, Lieutenant. And we just saved your ass by boarding the river. My orders are to reconnoiter the... I think that point is now moot. You have ten men left. My orders are to save what's left. Move out! Oh, Phelps. Hmm. You don't like that, do you? I'm in charge here. God complex. Next time on L.A. Noir. Well done, lads. You did well with the Summers case. But we have a problem. The examiner received a new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Go right ahead. They've both been rinsed in gasoline like the previous letters, so I can't lift a print. Hmm. No one else but the killer knew about this message. Find me where I hid myself? All right. Another snippet from the Shelley poem. Hmm. All right. What, what about the red book? I wasn't done. The, hmm. the red book, you bastard. Okay. Yeah. Is that the way it's going to work? Okay. I guess the red book's nothing, guys. Can't do anything with the red book, so I guess it's nothing. Yep. Must be nothing. Why is it doing that? Thank you. Holy shit. Why was it backing off constantly? Suffer woes, which hope thinks infinite, to forgive wrongs darker than death or night. Thank you. Now that I'm done with that, they can have a discussion. Note from the Dahlia maniac, he definitely also killed Teresa Terrell. Mal and I agree. But where does that leave us? If this is the Dahlia killer, and he is responsible for the Terrells and murder, not to mention the Mollocks. Hang on a moment, Skipper. Let me finish, Rusty. We have five birds in hand and none in the bush. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. Your careers would be over for a start, gentlemen. Looking in wonder... Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, yet I knew this run was too good to be long. true. I hid myself within a fountain in the public square. You like that stuff? What is it supposed to mean? It's supposed to... Forget what it's supposed... What does he want? Where are you going with this, Cole? He's obviously taunting us. He believes he's far more intelligent than we are. Okay, it's some kind of story, right? A guy that God hates chains him up. It's an allegory, Rusty. A what? story with two meanings. A symbolic meaning. But that's what he wants us to think. Could he be using it literally? Within a fountain in a public square? Could it be that easy? Could somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? The fountain in Pershing Square. 
Come on, we have a clue. Captain, thanks, Ray. Be careful, Phelps. This is his game you're playing now. We've actually been playing it the whole time, but that's not the point. Point is, I am freaking adorable, just like this kitten. You go ahead and enjoy that while I say thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. I will see you on the next one. Hopefully my eyes will be better, but I doubt it because it takes a month to heal. Okay, I love you. Bye.